Finish that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome back to Next Lesson Music. It's Joseph here. And Salador. And Show today, us. we got an interesting one for you guys. I almost forgot for a split second. We're going to be learning about triads. Whoa, triads. I'm a try. <laughs> We're gonna. Oh, I got it! 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 No, no, no! Come on! No. I just fell over. No, just kidding. <laughs> but before we get into today's video, I know, serious no. Make sure to like and subscribe. Come on. August is always bothering us. He's always like, guys, you guys never say to like and subscribe, which we do, which we do. But he doesn't realize. So to prove him wrong. Make sure you're, you're subscribed to the channel. Also, make sure to like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, like it as well so we can understand. <laughs> <laughs> and also, check us out on the socials at Nexus Music. We're active there a lot, right? And sure. Patreon, last but not least. You know, if you want presets, if you want good content, go make sure to become a musician over there on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Sky presets. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming soon. They're still, they're still in the works, you know. We're still coding, we're coding them. But so let's get into it. Triads. What, what are triads? Let's start off with that. What is a triad? Uh, if you could look at our video right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Triads are composed of the root, third, and fifth. Right. Depending. Right. So there's, there's, we're gonna learn about two, two types of triads: the major and the minor. But we're gonna teach you like one of the things is. Uh, how to use them in in your playing? Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, but I don't know if you wanna elaborate a little bit more. Yeah. So pretty much a triad is three notes. That's why it's try. Try means three. Add means. <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish that. But yeah. So pretty much you get the point there. Three notes. But here's the thing. They can be arranged in different ways, and we'll figure that out pretty soon. On the guitar especially, you can notice how those different arrangements give different sounds, you know? Sometimes they're gonna be in order, you know? From the top string to the bottom, it's gonna be in one, three, five. On a different one, it might be five, three, four, one. On a different one, it might be three, five, one. So you can arrange them however you want, but it gives you a different sound for a different scenario. Either you're playing rhythm, which is, you know, very helpful. In the intro you saw, I make use of those triads a lot. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, playing the old chord just doesn't fit it, right? <laughs> it's just like, uh, you know, I want to play something different. So try it, uh, try it can help you there. And it's also a good uh, tool, I think, you know, us as, as lead guitarists, you know, in a band, you tend to play those, you know, in a ad atmospheric way, you know? You use those triads not to play a chord, right? But to, you know, add little details here, little floaty notes here and there. So it's really nice to play triads. So, let's get started with the major triads. Ooh. It's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how do we play those shows on the... Of course. So, so first thing first, I'm gonna put a, like a little fact, you know, just, just to give it like a little texture, you know? So, but we're gonna, we're gonna work on the note G, all right? G. So, G is composed of, which is G, right? And then uh, B, and then D. We have those like the basic, which is the root, the third. Why is the third? One, two, three, and then and then the fifth, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, and then. So after that, so within those two things, you could uh, actually play in a different way, a different spot. Ooh, wow! Right, so magical, right? So it sounds lower right here, obviously because of the strings. And then, now, there's different ways how you could play those triads. Now, they're called inversions, right? Uh, you could play in the different, so if, if we have what, right, which is a one, three, five, right? We could play in a different way. We, we have right, right, uh, in same the, one. Same one, right? The one, three, five, we could do three, five, one. So one more time. So we, one, three, five. And then three, five, one, right? So yeah, but those uh, obviously you have to know that within the guitar there's certain positions. It's not a piano. Piano you could just go like forward, right? Either to the right or to the left, you know. But the guitar is like it's kind of like weird. No, not weird, but just you have to find the certain position. Different, you know? different. So for example, if we're on G, right? So this is the same thing that we did here. Then we got one, three, five, 
Wolf, and then three, five, up, right? Three, five, one, and then five, one, three. Yeah, it's it's interesting, you know, when when we're talking about triads, you know, I, we might not get into <clears throat> great detail of this song. <laughs> we, we might not get into great detail in triads, you know. I'm pretty sure there's um, you know worksheets where you can see all the triad stuff like that. Maybe we'll come up with one, you know, down the line, right? Because they're they're all over. The different inversions are all over, you know. This. The G that you find here can be found over here, can be found on different places. So everywhere. that that same note is everywhere. That's the beauty of the guitar, that there's no one way of playing something. There's always right. a different way, even if it's the same note, even, you know, you know, but <laughs> that, was, that was a bit drastic. But, you know, <laughs> it gives it a different sound. So if I put... Almost played the wrong note there, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you see, there's a different tone to it. Like if I'm playing, you know, a bassy sound, I'm gonna go for that beefy, beefy sound, the tone. Beefy but it, beefy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm if I'm playing lead, if I want to cut through a mix, you know, yeah, I'm gonna play that higher note. And the same thing with triads, depending on which one. If you're doing atmosphere, you know. But if I'm, <laughs> it's a lot of reverb. But if I'm if I'm looking for something more light, you know, I could play a different uh, inversion of that triad, and we'll go over the the most basic ones. I know there's many throughout the guitar, so there's a whole load of triads. You can go, you know, so you can either make them yourself or you can find a, a diagram or a chart that has them. But there are a few triads that you know, do you know they're the common ones. But these don't only relate to major ones, right? Yeah. They they can also be used, and they're called minor triads Ooh. for the minor chords. It, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not, but he's making it seem worse than it really is. It's not that bad. So you want to explain explain them the the minor ones? Well, I mean, so the minor triad, pretty much the only difference that it has is that instead of playing the major third, you're playing the minor third. Yep. Pretty straightforward, right? So. If we were to play the bar chord, right, the G bar chord, you take off your second finger, you have, oh, and you have what is the minor chord, right? Pretty straightforward. So for triads, you just break that. So. So you can break up, you know, that chord so you're not playing the same chord and you can break it. So one of the techniques and the reason why these tries are important for especially for a lead guitarist or for a guitarist who's inspiring you to do different is because it frees up your fingers. As you can see, when I play the full minor chord in this case, right? Mm -hmm. I'm using up all my fingers. I can't really do much with this finger. It's limited, right? Stop taking the middle finger off, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But you get the point. This one. <laughs> so I can free up everything by just using one. So what you're doing there is adding combinations, correct? Yeah, I'm adding notes on top of that. So it's the minor, right? Correct. But I can add, so add this. That would be seventh if I'm not wrong. Correct. Ninth. 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 Seventh, two, <laughs> anything you want. No, no but you, you get the point. You can add different notes there, depending on the scale, right? Or Correct. If, if you want to be different. So, so one of the things that I'm seeing too as when it comes to triads, obviously you can combine different notes, not different degrees, in the, like right, degrees in the sense of you got the five, six, the flat, whatever, right? So, uh, one, one, one. Uh, so let's go back to the major, right? So I want to show you a little, like a little. I do this a lot, right? When I come, when it comes to improvisation. So just uh, do me a favor, just stay on G. So he's gonna stay on G at that little reverb effect, no? All right. So what we're, what am I gonna what I'm gonna do 
is add all the triads that well obviously I'm, I'm gonna try to play and what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of like little uh, i'm gonna uh do add-ons no right so this is a g triad g and then i'm gonna add like a like a ninth right? right and then we'll be playing around and then yeah hold on let me just get a second all right, got it. ready? So check this out. Ready? One, just just stay on G, right? Yeah. Or what you could do, just add, play a little bit, like like that. Play some of it, right? Ready? One, two, ready, go. Is that a bunch of triads? Yeah, you see, so you just take those triads and that's the beauty of the triad. That since it's just a simple shape, you know, and we're gonna go over a few common ones. We can't go over all of them, because otherwise you'd be sitting here for an hour. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna make it short. We're gonna give you the, the most common ones, the ones that well, I personally use the most. And he, well, he's a bit more advanced. He's, he has his first finger here and his pinky all the way over here. So he's, he's different. <laughs> he's built different, right? But we'll go over those. But a pattern that you're going to see is that usually the guitarist is not going to leave the triad by itself. You're going to add something, you know, because you have a free finger. The pinky is free here. I have all this real estate over here, all this real estate over here. I can do much more than when I had this this bar chord. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful chord, right? But Correct. it's there's nothing I can do, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm limited to, to, to the stuff I can do. Maybe, you know, slide a finger? I, I don't know, it's just too limiting. But a triad is different like that. So, as we saw, you know, John just played, or Salvador, he played AK Chama too. <laughs> <laughs> he played a ton of triads, you know, triads over here, triads down here. They're everywhere. So, I think let's go over the major ones. And then we'll go over the minor ones. I love the minor. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go over the the major ones, right, the man. major triads. Uh, you going me? The right foot is in. Right, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. so one of the things um, I'm more when it comes to triads, I like to use like higher triads. And when it comes to like you know, uh, for example, when it comes to uh, when when it's two guitarists, like what Joseph did, no. Uh, well, he was just playing like basic stuff, and I would just do the add-ons, right? Right. So one of the things first, uh, obviously the first one is like, it, um, it all depends on what note you're gonna play. So in this instance, we're gonna uh, we're gonna play on G. Right? We're gonna stay on G for now, for this right, right now, right? So G, right? So instance, so because we're doing the with G and D, right? So so the the low the low triad will be this. Right? And then the higher. But remember, you could change and do those inversions, right? So. And then. But so, but because I'm, 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 I'm like kind of like done right here. I, I, uh, it's like a piano, right? But there's no more guitar strings, right? <laughs> so one of the things is do the octave, right? So, so for example, uh, for right now, I'm gonna just go all over here, right? So this is G, right? So this is G, right? If the cameraman can see this, right? So one of the things that I like to do when I practice uh, the triad, so I like to do like little practice notes, right? Right, which is this. So we got G, B, D, and then B. And then go back. So, so within that, so I, I, if you if you notice, there's a, a, a there's a, there's a line like a little like a like a like a truck track, right? I want to say. So we got this. Obviously, I'm using different fingers, but for right now, I'm just uh, showing there's a bunch of tracks, right? And then if I'm here, this is the octave of G. Same thing. because I'm, I, I could still go further right here but just remember you can use the octaves the power of octaves 
if you if, if you know, I'm, I'm looking here. Sorry. <laughs> so the power of octaves. You learn how to use, uh, learn your notes in the in the in, in, in a way of octaves, right? So if you, if you know your notes octave wise, you know you, you have the power to go anywhere. So for example, to do that again, like with the with, do it, add that little reverb. <laughs> One, two, ready, go. So some of the popular shapes, I know that he taught like a full exercise where like you can find <laughs> all of them, right? But you know, I think some of us we're, we're true Americans. We want things quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maruchan stuff. <style. laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maruchan. Oh, the yeah. Maruchan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to say it. Okay, so one of the popular ones is the the basic one. It's just like it's like the staircase. Yeah. I don't know what names to give these, right? Staircase. So one through five, the staircase. If, if you see it, watch. Go. Staircase. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> this video's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have, oh, I forgot about this triad as well, the power chord triad. Yeah. Two octaves and one fifth. That one's a bit different. There's no third unless you add it right here. Like that. But okay, so that's a power uh, a power chord triad, right? Just throw it in, right? We have this one as well, the D chord triad, right? Yeah. Because you guys remember this from from the beginner video, right there. <laughs> <laughs> you just then there's the A the A chord power, uh, triad, right? Because So it's just these three notes. Don't bar this one, because otherwise it's not going to sound right. <laughs> so. so there's that one, right? So those are a few triads right there. Those are very helpful when you're doing it. Something that I like doing is adding that sus4 chord suspended. Suspicious. Okay. So those are the major, the popular major ones, right? Obviously, there's more. I mean, you can stretch your fingers however you want to do crazy triads, and you can follow the diagrams and stuff like that to find out more. You know, deeper triads down here right but the most popular are those primarily yeah. so the minor ones now <laughs> <laughs> how do we play those minor so minors right. the same thing the same uh, well, the, well not the same thing not the well, same not thing. The <laughs> well like this sort of the same exercise right well, as I taught um, but just the thing is that the flat is the the, the the three is flat, right? So yeah, so G so G major, G minor, right? So we got the we got we got uh, and then the same thing as as I mentioned, right? So let's go to minor, right? All the way to G, right? The octave, right? So right? So we got the G. Flat the third, which is B flat, and then D, right? And then I can finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> right? It sounds like a song, but I don't know which one it is. No, it's good. No, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, and then you'll back, right? So the same thing with the octave, no, uh, triads. Yeah. So, so in this sense, is the uh, uh, root flat, th flat third, and fifth, right? But at the same time, as we mentioned, you could add um, different notes as well, right? You could play around with the tr those triads, right? So let's do it one more time, right? So um, if, if if you could do that same thing, um, let me see. There you go. All right. So 
do that, do that, do that, do that uh, romantic stuff. Ready? One, <laughs> two, ready? Go. <laughs> So as you can see, the same way that the major triad lends itself to, to many different places, I mean, he's only playing the triads there and adding a few notes there and imagine how atmospheric that sounds. It's, it's amazing the versatility the triads can give you. The same can be applied to the minor triad. So some of the popular shapes that we have include the following. There's, there's this, this one where you break, instead of doing this, you replace your your pinky for your third finger, and then you play the, the what would that be? The D, uh -huh. D, G, and B string. So this camera right here. Or if you want, if you want to get that lighter note, you can take this one off and then just play the three bottom strings barred. So what that enables you to do is to have three fingers free to do whatever you want. So you can see that, that's one shape right there. We also have the one right here, which is... So three bottom strings, the same way that we did this, believe it or not, you just bring it down. So the minor staircase. <laughs> we also have the, this one, the power chord. Since it's a power chord, it applies, so. Since there's no three, the three is the one that usually collides. But since the three is not there, you can play that one. Yeah. That works. It should work. And we have the D minor shape. The last but not least, yes, we can reuse that 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 D minor that we play here, down here, down below. Totally didn't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see, so those those shapes are really helpful. So So yeah, we're we're already getting excited about this because it's just such a great tool. Triads are such amazing tools. Obviously, there's way more. Let me repeat it once again. There's way more triads. Don't hold us accountable for just these, <laughs> right? There's way more. And we can go over those and probably in the future video, you know, the exotic triads. Maybe that's the next one. But for the meantime, those are the, <laughs> those, are the those are the ones, the common ones that, that we use. Obviously, you can put uh, you can put Salvador's exercise to great use to find the rest of the ones. Um, they're all connected, really. They're all connected throughout the whole the whole fretboard. You'll find them everywhere for every chord, for every chord. It's not limited to G and G minor. Yeah. It can be any. It can be any. If you go one strip up, you know, you just move everything one step up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's such an amazing thing. What do you think, Salvador? Yeah. So um, just last one. I don't. I, I think um, we're uh, it's uh, for you for you guys are there are really beginning. It may be confusing, you know. But throughout this musical journey, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get better at better, better and better. So uh, so obviously we ta just taught G, right? So let's do this. Um, let's do G, right? And then B minor. And then E minor, and then A, uh, and then E minor, right? So try it with me, right? G.
<laughs> the second intro. <laughs> the second, <laughs> the intro. second intro. But yeah, you can see there how useful triads are. Obviously, I'm playing the chords, right? Oh, pretty lame, right? But you, you can see throughout his playing, you know, triads here, triads there, triads everywhere. <laughs> They're all over the place. You make trying. great use of them. They're really important. Just remember, it's just the one, three, and five. Depending if it's a major, one, three, five. If it's a minor, one, flat, three, uh -huh. five. So, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. It's been Joseph here. And Salvador. AKA Chum. And see you guys <laughs> in the next one. Thanks, guys.